Hey, 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 you know what's really annoying? Listen to this. Press the Z button like crazy. Enjoy. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back. To the walkthrough of death. I have really seriously got to have a talk with Evil Voice Guy about all this. But anyway, I think while I could exit South Clock Town, I'm going to do some side quests. Because I think it's going to make things a lot easier. And for some reason it's good. Oh, it didn't tell me it's, it's saving this time. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why it did that before. Oh, wait, there we go. There we go. Maybe because it's removing the owl save this time, though. But the other time, I'm not sure why. Alright, so we have resumed. He who holds the sacred sword, you have returned to the appointed spots. If you wish to interrupt your adventure, slash speaking games, again, speak with me, the one that you have marked to prove your encounter. Now, get your ocarina out, and play the inverted Song of Time. Yeah, that's the one, remember the scarecrow was telling us about? It's down a right, down a right. Oh, wait, wait, it, hold on, it's... No, wait, wait, down a right, down a right. Oh, I was hitting the Y button instead of the Z button for down for some reason. <laughs> so that's the inverted song of time, and this will slow the current flow of time. Do this every time you reset the clock and you'll triple the amount of time that you have. Oops, I did not... Well, actually, that's fine. I'm gonna need that for uh, just a second here. Um, basically... Well, since we have tripled the amount of time, we have a lot more time to do stuff. Including, like, redoing this quest with the kids here. Let's just put it that way. So I'm gonna take that off, and now, as long as I'm in the area too, I'm gonna go and hop up these now that I can, because I couldn't do that before in my Deku body, and I think you know what I'm going for now. Hello there, heart piece. Yeah, how's it going? Yeah, I got that heart piece, and I've got three so far. One more, and I will be ready to go. And as long as I'm up here, I'm going down the slide. Woo! All right. So now the reason why I want to do this again is because I want to get the bomber's notebook, and that requires you to do this again. Because remember, before they complained that you were a Deku scrub. Yeah, um, well, now they won't because you're human, so without, you know, the, without that discrimination of effect, you know, they'll, they'll let you be a member now, and then you'll be able to get a bomber's notebook. And this time I'm gonna do it without any sort of Deku nut things, just to show you how much more annoying this can be, and it probably will be incredibly annoying, so <laughs> it will be good times. Well, I didn't mean to, well... I mean, I guess I could get more rupees, but I was actually gonna get a super secret treasure chest that'll uh, load up my- Oh, I- Oh, I got him! <laughs> that'll load up my uh, wallet with stuff now that I can do it now that I'm a human and whatnot. So I am going to do that. I, it is on this side of town. See that little box at the bottom right portion of the map? A little bit left of the bottom right portion of the map? Yeah, that is the thing that I'll go and grab. But, uh, for now, I'm just gonna kinda, kinda get the kids around here. Like, see, that that's the pathway up there that leads to said box. But the thing is, I gotta grab the kid. But, <laughs> so, so I've actually gotta loop around here. And, uh, well, actually, I don't have to loop around here. What I could do is just do a rolling jump. You know, you roll off the edge and then just jump. And uh, for these, you just wanna do a regular walking jump. And this is, yeah, this is like super secret box, crazy ahoy, Mr. Sister down here. And yeah, see, this is, this is the box that I was talking about. And this will fill up your wallet like nobody's business. It's worth 100 rupees. Yeah, that's why I didn't really care about those bushes at this point. Because you can do that every time you reset time using the Song of Time. So yeah, this pathway, it might be super secret, but it's not anymore. And we're gonna need a lot of rupees to, to get stuff all together here, so... Oh, by the way, you can shoot the kids with bubbles to stun them just like you could with the Deku Nuts. But the Deku Nuts are way easier than the bubbles because the bubbles are 
horrifically, horrifically inaccurate, as I said before. By the way, I never talked to you guys before, because I came through here uh, at nighttime before, didn't I? Yeah, so I'll just... Well, you got a point there. D despite the, their impending doom, they sure don't seem all that worried about getting stuff done, huh? Or, you know, saving the day or anything like that. But anyway... <laughs> Um, let's see here, I think, I think, I think, yes, I will go in here, oh, it opens at 8 a.m., well, I was gonna show you a little event giblet that ha that's gonna be explaining a dance thing, uh, just to put something into context, but I, I can wait until 8 a.m., because I still got another kid to catch, but basically what I was gonna do is I was gonna go inside the building, oh, there's the frame rate drop again, lovely. But yeah, I was gonna go inside the building and then come out that door over there, uh, but I won't... Oh, right. <laughs> that's right, you can't, uh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, kid, let's, let's just pretend that never happened, just, uh... Let's just let's just move out and groove out. Let's reset the area. I forgot about that. Yeah, if you if you talk to the kids when you're in a different form and you start the game as a certain form, you kinda they kinda recognize your difference. <laughs> so it it makes sense. And there you go. And let's do this again. You see where that kid got stuck in the corner, right? Well, that is where I'm going to stick him again. By the way, if he didn't realize that we were playing this game, why did he even run from me in the first place? Was it like, was he scared of the Deku? Or something like that? Oh, by the way, the kids can sometimes go behind the guards, like this, and then you can't get them, which is really stupid, because if you try and get past him, you know, by showing him your sword and then leaving town, it'll reset the... yeah, it's... It's another aspect of bad design in the game, especially since you're kind of on the clock here. Uh, actually, well, maybe I can... hold on. Stay stop right there. You got some air in the canyon. It's dangerous outside the town walls, so I can't allow a child like you to... Oh, a sword? My apologies, sir. It was wrong of me to treat you like a child. Canyon at Stone Tower lies this way. Be careful. Okay, maybe I can... Oh, he got out. Okay, good. I was gonna say... If he was gonna be there, I might end up touching that load zone, and then I end, might end up going outside the city, which would suck. But yeah, as you, this is why I like to stun the kids, because they are ridiculous to corner and- uh, <laughs> Yeah, you- Uh-oh, he's going near the other load zone. Okay, get out, get out, get out, get out, yeah, oh, yeah okay. Now you see why I saved those Deku Nuts, and I used every single one of them uh, that I saved from that intro area, too, so... Oh, oh, now that it's 8 o'clock, I can head over and, oops, no, no, I can go in the, what is known as the Stockpot Inn. Yeah, this, this, I'm just gonna go in here to show you something for a little bit of context, as I said. So I'm just gonna go in here and chat with people really quick. Welcome to the Stockpot Inn. Uh, are you staying the night? No, I'm not. Oh, really, that's good. Oh, he's totally booked right before the carnival. We're sorry, I have to turn people away. So she wouldn't be able to give us a place anyway. Is pay the, pay the stock pocket in a visit in the future. Okay, I'm gonna actually have to do that for a rather lengthy side quest, but uh, I don't think this is open right now. Oh, it is. Oh, I guess I could do this. Oh, Tortoise, did you help? Did you finish helping father? Let mother read you a story. Uh, oh, maybe. Oh, actually, maybe I won't. This is a. Uh, time passing thing that's right and then she quizzes you on that on later times so that's actually a bad idea to do right now um this is a toilet here and uh this is going to be a part of a quest that i'm going to be doing this part actually um you have anything uh yes you did how d you actually recognize me uh-huh oh never mind <laughs> and over here is a kitchen with and there's, there's bugs in the kitchen that's that's not sanitary at all, but you can catch them in a bottle if you have a bottle, so keep that in mind. Now, there are stairs. Oops, that was the wrong corner. Stairs around the corner, and leading up, this is where the, the roof area is, where I was before, that I said I was going to go out of. Employee, oops, I clicked through that too fast, I'm sorry. But, how quickly does that, okay, it just pops in after it says, so yeah, employees only, no admittance. So, and here's, remember the, these dancer girls that were ornery at us? Hmm, 
Hmm, oh, well, that will work. No, that's too basic. Well, basically, they're, they're trying to figure out a new dance routine. And that dance routine is a thing... is a thing that we gotta do <laughs> to get a heart piece. Dude was very good at it. Maybe we should add some spins. And here's the Guru Guru Man. Do do do! Don't speak to her right now. She hasn't finished her new dance. For the town's carnival. Oh shoot! I was too early. <laughs> but at least you know I know the song. <laughs> so yeah, he. I guess maybe he's the one doing the song. Okay, maybe not. Not. <laughs> So basically, they're working on a dance there, and they don't know how to do the dance the way they want to do it. It's, it's kind of like an artist thing, but they just keep pondering what they need to do for hours upon hours, and in the case of this uh, three-day cycle here, nothing is gonna happen. By the way, bah, bother, bother, I'm busy! Yeah, that guy is pretty ornery, but he's kind of a part of something later. <laughs> anyway, let's go get that last kid. Uh, I'm gonna go zip on through here. And then, once it turns nightfall, I'll be able to do other stuff. Um, remember that bomb place? You know, the place that uh, wouldn't sell you bombs because you're a Deku and, and whatnot, yeah. That place is uh, kind of a part of another side quest hint that I'm also going to be doing this part at midnight of the first day. You did it! So, uh, what's your name, guy? Link, huh? Alright, that's called Kid Broke Our Rules, and he's been doing all kinds of bad things lately. Starting today, he's out! I'm making Link a bomber. You guys don't mind, right? Right! So this time they're happy, they're not complaining that there's any scrubs. This is the bomber's notebook, it contains the words we live by. Read it over. Remember I was talking to you about this? It allows you to keep track of people's schedules. Press start to add, da, 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 da. you know how this thing is. You just go in your menu and select it. And this is the thing that was explained on that sign. There's only 20 people ever in the quests anyway, so yes. <laughs> so basically, they're just going over the stuff that I read over on the sign, and this is all pretty self-explanatory, really, but it's, it's a very, very handy book for the future. And now the secret code, as I said, it's going to be the same for your save file no matter what, but it's different for every save file, so... 23451 is once again the one. Behold, it's been added to our notebook. And that's also been added to the notebook. Remember to keep your paper until then. Well, you don't need your paper anymore, I'll do you. <laughs> now, I will go and show you something else here. Remember Andrew at the Stockpot Inn? I'm just gonna kind of go back over there. I think it'll show up in the notebook now. Just because I talked to her and the, the notebook somehow can sense when people have trouble with stuff and whatnot. And why do I keep going the wrong way anyway? I mean, I know I'm not the best at this game knowledge-wise, but I'm still decent enough. <laughs> Alright, so he's... Uh, I, mean, she, I mean, she's... Well, he's leaving now, but she is... Okay, yeah, yep, it'll let, allow me to add it to the notebook, so this is a whole humongous frickin' side quest that you can't even do until much, much later on in the game, but i just like to get it added to my notebook for later, and I am going to leave out here, and now since I'm along this side of town, what I might as well do is go back over to the observatory and get myself another moon's tier. So, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna kinda... Yeah, probably cut ahead. Alright, now just for the record, uh, I'm gonna be doing this on day one this time. So, uh, this time the moon's tear is going to fall on day one. It doesn't really make much sense, because it doesn't seem like that any sort of effect happens via the Skull Kid to cause that tear to fall. It just happens whenever you look through the telescope for whatever reason, so, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, the Skull Kid definitely notices you, but it doesn't seem like that he's actively shooting Moon's Tears at you or something like that with the moon. I mean, it, unless he's a, just a really bad shot or something like that, but anyway, I need that Moon's Tear because I need a piece of paper. Um, you'll understand why I need a piece of paper later, but basically this piece of paper is going to be that land title deed, and, uh, I'm... let's just put it this way. After we use the land title deed, this part, I'm so, so glad that we are going to be getting a brand new one in the future. 
As I just, I'll just put it that way. So yeah, I'm gonna go back over to Clock Town now. Sometimes I just do not know what causes the frame rate issues in this game, I swear. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, you gotta go back to this business scrub because remember you reset the three days so everything you did before has been reset. Except for items that you've collected before, which doesn't really make much sense either, but... In the very least, we, we already know that he needs a Moon's Tear, and we've got that Moon's Tear, so there we go. I'll just click through the text. We've got the land title deed. Heck yeah. Alright. Good times, uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Alright, so he's just gonna fly off. We've got our piece of paper, and now we've basically gotta wait until nighttime. And what we can do to speed things along here is use the other Song of Time like giblets. Remember that if you play two notes in a row of your Song of Time giblets, you'll be able to uh, kind of do stuff. So I have a listen at this. Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 it's. There we go. X, X, A, A, Z, Z. Or that. It's the song of double time, and we can proceed to the night of the first day. So we're just gonna skip time ahead a little bit here. It's not really all that ready to go, because we need to be, like, late morning and whatnot, but I, I might be able to see what the poop is uh, going on outside, because I'm not exactly sure when this event happens. What I do know is that I've got to be outside of town. I already cleared myself with the guard, so I could just walk right out here. This is the first time we're seeing Termina Field, which is kind of like Hyrule Field, and you don't have, you don't, can't hear the music or, or anything like that. But it's got a remix of the original Zelda theme. And what I'm looking for is the place with a bunch of stone-like mushrooms. Um, oops, I did not mean to. I got my fingers slipped. Um, stone-like mushrooms. I'm just gonna go around the perimeter here until I find them and see if the guy that I'm looking for is here. This, this has to do with that dance side quest, by the way. And I just forgot which exit it was at. I think it was at the ice one. Uh, yeah, this is the ice one here. But I, th I couldn't... Really Eh, hmm. It's just like right off the edge and you've got to jump on top of it. Uh, by the way, this is a... Uh, you can see inside it, it's got a, a magic jar which can be used to replenish your magic power. But this is a green choo-choo, nothing to be afraid of. Usually it's something in its stomach that's of use. So yeah, these are the appearance of the choo-choos and uh, you can get stuff like that. You can always tell what you're getting based on what's in its belly and yeah. Um... See, the, oh yeah, those are the mushroom things that I was talking about. But only one of them you can really jump onto. Uh, here's a hole here, but uh, let's just just go in the hole for kicks. Oh jeez, this is like a creepy super shrine of sorts. Ah, why did I do that? Why did I do that? It does that dizzying effect and... Uh, okay. So I'm waiting for... Well, maybe he's going to be around... Uh, I just need to go and... Uh, there's one of the mushrooms. Oh, this is the mushroom that I'm looking for. Well, it's not really a mushroom so much as it is an ice spire, but... Basically, you jump off of this to get over there. Uh, but he only appears at certain times. I don't know if he's gonna be here now. Uh, no, I guess not. So I guess I gotta wait a little bit longer. So I'm just gonna cut ahead. Don't worry, you two. I'll help you with your dance soon enough. Instead, I'm gonna do something else at North Clock Town at midnight. This has to do with the bomb uh, bag side quest type thing that I I talked about. That was something was going on at that bomb shop that you were supposed to get a bomb bag, and well, it, it didn't really happen. Well, something in this area is gonna happen at midnight, and I I returned the flow of time to normal by playing the song of inverted time just to speed things along a bit. So what we've got to do here is wait until midnight. Also get out your sword by the way and you might want to practice your techniques while you wait for it. So you can spin the control stick and just press the B button. Got to do it quick though and you'll be able to do that sort of spin. Otherwise if you hold the B button 
you'll be able to do one of those dealios. But yeah, there's, just, there's also a thing that you can do jump attacks and... Ah! I was gonna say backflips. I am writing in the notebook. It's just kind of happening automatically. Just he's explaining the book again. But yeah, all I'm doing here is waiting for something to happen and this guy is gonna come around and he's gonna rob this lady of the bomb bag that she's supposed to deliver to the shop. And then he's gonna go, or at least try and go out that, I believe that door or something like that. So I'm just, I'm just gonna wait like here. And, uh, let it happen, and I'll, I'll, I'll save her by slashing at the guy with my sword. Oh yeah, you might be wondering why I'm not using the Scarecrow or something like that to speed up time a little faster. Well, that's because he only does it by half days, and this happens at a quarter of a day. So, you literally have to wait for this and or do side quests until this happens. And it also seems like you've got to get lucky to come across this thing to begin with. Because there really isn't much in the way of hints that this actually happens at midnight on this side of town. So, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> Alright, it's midnight. It's time. There she is. She popped out of that area there. And uh, some... This, this guy that was... Uh, see that guy he's hanging out over there? Behind the playground set? Um... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! Alf, watch out! Stop, thief! Get the old lady your luggage back! And this, now we've got to go and give him a good old-fashioned slasheroo. There we go. And we get... Well... Um, well... I was gonna say we'll we we will get her luggage back, but uh, we can't quite pick it up. <laughs> I would prefer to hand it to her, but it's fine. Thank you, since you didn't make it off with them, I can finally stock bomb bags at her shop. Maybe I'll put them out tomorrow. Uh, yes, I must thank you. It's a dangerous mask, but maybe you could use it to throw your own festival fireworks show. So yeah, I think what they're they, yeah, this is the blast mask. You can, that's not actually true that you lose life energy. I'll show you how to get this thing to work, but it's like having bombs all the time. Uh, well, thanks for helping me. Take care. And it has been completed. Woo! Success! So I think, as I was saying, is that the... the that you're supposed to come across that guy behind the playground set that's waiting to ambush that old woman for the bomb bag. And then you're, you're supposed to kind of find them suspicious, and then you're supposed to wait around for something to happen with them. But given how long things can take, that's uh, it's kind of a lot to ask. Because <laughs> remember, a whole day, I mean, I should say a whole three days with the Song of Inverted Time. I mean, uh, yeah, Song of Inverted Time off is still 54 minutes. So you, it's not really... A, th a thing of that you really want to wait around for. I mean, granted, it's happening on the first day, so you could just wait around the whole time for it, but... Jeepers! <laughs> Alright, there's the guy that I was looking for. So I guess he must appear past midnight or something himself. Hear that music? It's the same music that those two girls are dancing to. I am no longer a part of the living, my sadness to the moon. I haven't left my dance to the world, I am filled with regrets. Translation, I am disappointed, oh moon, I have died! <laughs> That's actually pretty funny the way they put that. Oh, I plan to bring the world together and stir it into a giant melting pot with my dance. If only I had taught my new dance to someone. So, yeah, he's added to my notebook here. I'm no longer da 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 da. I feel with regret. Oh, he has died. But alas, alas, who could be taught that thing? Wait, actually, I thought that. Oh shoot, does that? I might have actually forgot that I needed something. No wait, I was right. I I forgot. I look check my notes. I just need the song of healing, <laughs> which which makes sense because he's sad. So. Da 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 da. Y X Z Y X Z. Sorry about that. I, I just I don't know. I just brain farted there. Cause I was gonna say I thought I could do it at this point in the game. Mhm. Mm so he's like, ah, that song. 
Spread my dance across the world. Train its followers. I have taught it to you. Now make it into a popular dance craze! So this guy is now pretty happy, and I got another mask. What is this mask used for? Well, it's to teach the mask. I mean, it's to teach the dance to the world. I am counting on you. I'm counting on. <laughs> He's genuinely funny. So I became the dancer's successor. And now I'm gonna go back over to the. Oh, actually, what I should do is slow down time again, because I'm not sure if there's those girls will be back there. But uh, it's. I'm trying to transcribe the buttons in my mind as to which one is each C button. That's why I keep getting messed up on my C buttons. Um, no, actually, that, yeah. <laughs> See, I, I told you, I just keep getting messed up on my C buttons. Oh, you know, it's, it's... Da... Wait, it's... Ah, I just ended up accidentally playing the Song of Time, but what I want to do is slow the time again. So yeah, I just do not want to save and return to the first day yet. <laughs> Alright, we're going to try this again. Ready? Ready? Yes, Z-A-X, Z-A-X. <laughs> I'm probably going to do that the whole walkthrough because I'm used to playing it with the C-sticks and whatnot and... C buttons. I mean, I guess I could be using the C stick, but in all honesty, the C stick is really awkward to use as opposed to a button when trying to transcribe notes onto things. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go back over to West Clock Town by those dancers and uh, teach them the ways of the dance with the mask. As a matter of fact, you know what? I probably don't even need to cut ahead because here I am right now. <laughs> <laughs> How convenient is that? Yeah, I was, I was going around the right way, it's just that there wasn't really all that much to show and... Yeah, I mean, I, I should say all that much to cut ahead for and whatnot. Don't bother us! So yeah, remember these two? Yep, yep, yep. Add it to our notebook. Well, I, I never really showed you the... Yeah, the, here's the bomber's notebook. And if we go over to, say... Rosa, uh, Rosa, sister, uh, Rosa sisters, it'll show up which time they appear at which portions of the day and whatnot. Um, yeah. But other than that, it's not really helpful because you don't know about that guy in the rock. <laughs> so, so let's just, let's just assume that you've seen that guy and you decide, hey, yeah, let's, we're gonna wear this mask. And, uh, oh wait, did I forget about something? Am I, wait. Hold on. Oh, that's right, I got to press the dance button. I am... It, see, the thing about these masks is that there's only one use for each of these masks most of the time, and I always forget how to use each of the masks as a result of that. Uh, okay, so I'm dancing. I'm passing along that dance to them. And they're figuring it out. And they finally got their dance prepared for that ceremony. Heck yeah! Guard is like, ooh, I'm getting a show here, or something like that. And there we go. Oh, thank you for teaching us those steps. <laughs> you are a master. So the pass was, the dance was passed down to us, and then we passed it to them, and they think we're their master. But we got a piece of heart for that, and that's all that matters. A side quest complete. Now there's one thing left that I would like to do. Esther, you're so cool. Oh, thank you, thank you. I suppose so. They're doing the dance. Esther, please come to our performance. So have fun with that. Now, well, actually, um, is it? Well, maybe it'll show now. I mean, she said that she was gonna sell the bomb bags tomorrow, but I don't know if they're in stock now because we saved her. Uh, oh, there they are. Okay. So I guess we can do this now, too. Oh, that's a nice mask. You're ready for the carnival. Indeed I am. And since we got that uh, um, big old rupee from that chest to fill up our wallet, look at that! It just it just happens to be a good, like, close to the amount of rupees that I have. And now I can carry up the 30 bombs. Heck yeah! I'm not gonna buy any bomb shoes or anything like that because I'll be able to get them from chests and I don't even need them now. So it's kind of a waste of rupees. So yeah, once you do that uh, bomb mask side quest type thing, uh, which I f f still forgot to actually show you how it works. Um, oh, that's right, because I'm wearing the mask. I gotta take off the mask first before I can 
switch masks in my inventory. So I, I got, I'll show you how it works now, just as long as I remember it. So basically, you put on this mask, and then you press the B button to explode. Oh, it hurts! Or does it? So let's, let's see, I got, still got the mask on, but this time if I put the shield up and then explode... Well, I, wait, no, it's explode, then... Wait, hold on. It's... Oh, wait, I thought it was like... I thought it was like a multi-use mask. I forgot if it's... Hold on a sec, let me just... Oh, it, it's only like one use per screen then? Like, I don't... Yeah, I thought it was a multi-use mask. Okay, so it's on. Shield up, press the B button to explode. This time you don't take damage. So yeah, I guess when you use it once, it turns into that transparent state, but... Yeah, I don't, I don't remember that for some reason. Anyway, now that I got... That taken care of, we can put our rupees, well, the few rupees that we have, into the bank, because I'm going to be playing the Song of Time soon to conclude our side quests here. Yes, yes, yes. We are going to put nine. Why did I go over to the left at all? That's it. Hey, not an old big spinner, but if you say so. Alright, so I'm, I'm still working up to 200, which will be something that I can do immediately um, at the start of the next day. But for now, I'm going to go and flop over to uh, the Stockpot Inn. Now, uh, what people think is that the Stockpot Inn is closed, and while it is normally closed, the thing about it is that you can enter the Stockpot Inn from a different way. Like, see this right here? It's like, stockpot in. It opens at 8 a.m. Well, if I were to go up to that upper level in the power of a Deku, you know, because I can only really reach it with the power of the Deku, and flop on up and over to here. I'll just take this off right away just because. And I will equip that paper because this is a part of that other side quest, and remember I said that once you use this paper, you it, it's a good thing that you never have to use this particular paper again. Well, let's go over to that toilet, and, uh, oh, whoops, this is the wrong turning point, it is, there we go, um, um, paper, paper, please! Uh, now if I press stop here, it'll get added to the notebook. Who? Well, that person was added to your notebook. So, okay, paper, paper, please. And I'll just give him that land title deed. Yeah! Wait for it. Oh! You saved me. So, uh, what? What is... Yeah, um, this fell down here. I'll give it to you. Ah! Unfortunately, we have to keep this, though. And we get a new heart container for getting four of them. Oh! Get the hand sanitizer for this one. So yeah, he did something with that paper. They're, I think they're implying wiping himself with it. And, uh, you know, I have to go into the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why we don't want to use that paper ever again. And I'm glad we never have to see that paper ever again. <laughs> Now, I'm, I, I'm fill, filled up with bombs, but eh, I think because I'd like to give myself as much time as possible, I am going to play the Song of Time and return to the dawn of the first day, because I already have my rupees stashed away in the bank and everything like that anyway, so, yep, I will do so. So I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next parts. Dear Lord. Um, actually, maybe I'll talk over this just to prevent any sort of copyright issues going on along the way. Will you click some buttons? Got it? Good. <laughs>